Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Cosy Carry, and welcome to the first video that's going to be posted on, which is of my favourite game, Pokemon. Now, going back to third gen, it's my favourite generation, just cause, just, ah, oh, third generation, I love it. Now, with me today is my good friend and oldest friend, Scientor, aka Dan. Let's hello. find his link to his channel in the description. Yo, hello. I'm here, and... Well, commenting. Yes, and well, well, without further ado, really, let's just get started. So, new game, and this is where it gets really, really slow on the text. So, are you sure, still sure there's no option to speed up the text? Uh, there probably is, but I'll, I'll oh, figure wait, it out. Mind. I'll figure last, it out later. <laughs> last I'm, time we did that, we know what happened. Yeah, it's going quite fast now, anyway. So. Looks like I got a mice read. Yeah, but you're sharing over Skype, so there's a little bit of lag, isn't there? Now, yeah, am I a boy or am I a girl? Well, I think I'm a boy, seeing as I've just checked. Uh. Let's give ourselves a name. Um... Well, let's just You've go always got to wonder. You've always got to wonder. Gen 3, I personally I personally quite like. Yeah. You've just gotta wait for the remakes. Oh I know, I be I've been waiting for a third generation remake for so long, it'll be so good. Yeah, but well, let's wait until Gen 6 comes out. Yes. Gen 6, it's gonna be amazing. I have, seen used, on it. have you seen the new Mega Forms? Yeah, Mega Evolutions. Oh, those are brilliant. I've taken a look at some of them. Kangaskhan, a bit disappointing, but a bit. Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen. I haven't seen the Kangaskhan one. I've seen Blaziken. I've seen Lucario. Blaziken's seen... uh, supposedly an event on the day only when it gets released. Yeah, no, I'm going. I'm going to try and get that because you, you start off with a Torchic with its hidden ability. Yeah. Um, which only leaves, supposedly... hopefully you get the right nature. Ugh! Don't tell me you're one of those breeding fags. I'm, I'm maybe. Ah, oh, you prick. <laughs> and then, hopefully, actually, even even luckier is if you get a female one. And then you stick an Everstone on it, and you can keep the same ability. I think it works that way. Or it might keep the same, um... Well, you, the only way for it to go into that Blaziken form, you've got to evolve it while it's holding the certain stone that it's got. Yeah, and there's, there's other, um, there's other conditions. So I imagine it's got to be maximum happiness to you. It's got to be, um... At level 36, I very much doubt it's not going to be here for happiness. Yeah, no, no, it can be. It can be. Um, right, it's 1733. There we go. Well, 1333, even. I don't know what I'm going on about. I was a bit concerned there. <laughs> what, you're four, dude, what, you're four hours ahead? Yeah, I'm... I'm no, I'm, hang I'm, on, I'm, I got I'm still on yeah, holder. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Don't remind me. I haven't been on holiday in two years. Oh man, that is oh, well. sad. Not sad much. News. Not much point in complaining. Right. Ah, so this is a bit where I've got to go next door and introduce myself to May. And then, oh yeah, guys, if I haven't explained, okay, kind of a really big thing is I'm playing this series as a Nuzlocke challenge. Uh, those of you who don't know what a Nuzlocke challenge is, there's three simple rules. The first rule is you can only catch the first Pokemon you find on a route, which I'll explain more when I actually get onto the first route. Uh, the second rule is you have to nickname that Pokemon, and that is to basically to build an emotional bond with the Pokemon, which comes in play with the third rule, that is if a Pokemon ever faints, it is considered dead and can't be used again. But the twist here isn't. The twist here is that as soon as that Pokemon is considered dead, you have to release it. No, what well, Cosmic yeah, is but... going to be doing is putting them in a box saying dead. Yeah, yeah, basically. that's what a lot of people do. It's just so you can relive the memories. <laughs> the memory of the level one Wormple that died ferociously after you fighting. Can't get, you can't get a level one Wormple. Oh, shut up. 
So the lowest you can get to level eggs. 2. No, eggs are level 5 in Generation 3. I think it's not, not until le Generation 4 that they go to level 1. Huh. That means that Regigigas is technically the lowest level thing anyone can fight. Well, Regigigas isn't until Generation 4. I know, I mean in general. Alright. Oh, uh, the only level want? 1 legendary. It's the only one So where... Dan. I heard you like mudkips. Indeed I do. <laughs> yes. Um, as Dan knows, I'll explain to him, because this is not the first time we try to do this video, is mudkip is actually my favourite starter. So I like mudkips. You um, like mudkips, he like mudkips, we all like mudkips. Mudkips! Also, Swampert is, is the best... Uh, fully evolved starter. Has the highest stats over the whole board. It's a good all-rounder. I think it was just useful since it's only got one weakness. Has more than one weakness. It's only got one. No, in fact it has two... Uh, it has, um... It has it grass really... and it has ice. Ice isn't super effective. It is against ground. It's part, it's part water, so ice won't be super effective against that. It's ground part, yes. But it's only normal against water. No, ice. Right. It's only weakness is grass, and that's uh, twice super effective. Alright. Oh, right, so here's the second rule. I've got to now nickname this Mudkip. Um, now, at the minute, Dan and I are doing a Trine 2 playthrough on his channel. So I think I'm going to name this Mudkip after the character I play most on it on this Trine playthrough, which is... Pontius, yeah, yeah, Pontius, that's his name. I forgot his name for a second there. <laughs> yeah, I know, I, I had to think there's, there's <laughs> only three characters and I'm struggling to remember their name. <laughs> I have, I've even forgot the character I play most as. Oh, that's a bit Amadeus. Concerning. Amadeus. Come on, don't me, Amadeus. I'm sorry, I, that's a good every time, every time you do that, I still think of Nostrid, uh, Nostradamus by... Um... God, I can't even remember the, the band's name. Ha! Well, because they are much better. Oh well. Right, so I've got to go fight May now. The only problem there is you don't have much of a choice in the choosing. You can't say no, because he'll question you whether you're really sure about that. Well, no, but then there would be whole, no whole adventure, would there? Good right. point. Uh, just to clarify, folks, here, the rule where I can only catch the first Pokemon only comes in into play once you get your first Pokeballs, which will be after I defeat May. So unfortunately, and it Wimple's breaks my heart, die. I cannot catch this level 2 Wormple. <laughs> oh, it's such a big loss. Right, so... Now I'm going to do my usual strategy of get up one level before I go fight my rival. And it's because Mudkip learns Mud Slap. Yes, but it's not, it's not very effective. Say that to the accuracy loss. <laughs> I think True, that's but that's only a, like a, what, a, qu a quarter percent chance of happening. It's guaranteed. It's not, not on Mud Slap. Well, every single time I've used Mud Slap, and every time it's been used on me, it's 100%. <laughs> I think so I think I, you've just been I think you've just luck. been I think you've just oh, been lucky because I don't think it's a hundred percent. There's a there's a non damaging one that lowers your accuracy. That's a hundred percent. Well, it's not flash or smoke screen. That's for sure. Well, flash lowers your accuracy. Yeah, but it's not a hundred percent. No. Hmm. Ah, well, you use Mud Slap, and I'll prove you right. I'll prove me right. <laughs> or I could just tackle it to death, which is my usual MO. And to be honest, your, ta your tackle versus her pound. Her pound, eh? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I've really got to learn to think before I speak. Oh, but where would be the fun in that? Good point. Oh, I've missed these pixelated sprites. 
Look at the action. <laughs> the turn-based combat. <laughs> it's good and simple. It's the only thing that I think I really want to be part of uh, the Gens 5 and 6, but eh, I'm not complaining. What? Ah, the over-exaggerated moves. Ah, well. Ah, well, at least Gen 6 is going to be interesting in that sense. Yeah. <laughs> Where they've at least made an effort so it looks like, you know, flamethrowers aren't coming out of people's chests or necks. you got to be honest, though. But you're going to be surprised. By Sorry, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a fucking heart attack. Well, I do You're going to be more surprised by a flamethrower coming out of someone's chest in the mouth, aren't you? Yeah. But I have seen footage as well of solar beams coming out from the air, just above their heads, which is obviously intended for their evolutions form. Yeah. So. What will happen to Bulbasaur? I don't know. <laughs> I've always wondered, just those first, those first gen starters, is just, they've been forgotten. And Bulbasaur, which was the most unpopular one out of the three. I'm not sure. I think Squirtle actually might have been the most unpopular. Bollocks! I pick Squirtle. There's no chance he's unpopular. Oh, I always, I always pick the water starter, but I'm, I'm not sure if Bulbasaur was the least, um, the least liked. Woohoo! I got the Pokedex. Did you know my brothers are actually believing that Charizard is part dragon? Oh God! It's part flying. Yeah. It's the stupid. I've told them that. But. But if they're retconning certain Pokemon to be fairy type, like the fairy and um... then you're believing that yeah, you're believing that Charizard's going to be part fairy. No, but what I'm saying is there is chance, a very very slim chance that they'll go, go back and make um, Charizard Gyarados part dragon, like they should be. I mean, heck, Kingdra is part dragon. Yes, but Kingdra's evolved from Cedra though. But it's not. A, it looks nothing like a. Dragon, there is no link to dragons at all, apart from the fact that they had to shove one into Generation 2. That begs the question, why the hell... Was it, it must have been short-sightedness on Game Freak's half. To think, we're going to put dragons in, what will their weakness be? Yeah, but in Generation, dot, in generation dot, dot. 1 in, in generation one and 2, we didn't think about that. I mean, um, there was something right. like... Because there was competitive battles in Generation 1, believe it or not. And, um... Yeah, motherfucking oak. <laughs> yeah. Um... I can't remember what I was going to say, but, like, the standard Pokemon to get was something like a ghost type, a psychic type, a dragon type, and you were nigh unbeatable, kind of thing. Because they just had so little weaknesses. Hmm, fair enough. And well it the only a... ghost types were ghost poisons, so they were still weak to psychic. Psychics didn't have much of a weakness due to the fact that there were no ghost moves. Yeah, and no dark type. Yep, and bugs were weak as hell. Yeah. Right. So I've got my Pokeballs, I think, so I have to catch this Poochie on you. Right, let's just check if I've got Pokeballs. Yes, I do. Right. Close bag. Let's weaken it up a bit. I'd laugh if this was a if that if that was a critical hit. Yeah, please, 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 please don't be a critical hit. Yes. Sorry, a bit excited over there. <laughs> Accidentally click attack. <laughs> yep. So, I can say we've caught this Puccini. So that is the Pokemon for Route One Hundred One caught. Uh, people can read this if they want. And uh, then... Give a nickname. Yes. Well, what let's name it in honour of you, Dan. Lolay for Amadeus. <laughs> there we go. Right. And then let's go heal up. Oh, let's First of all, if I can remember the actual button, there we go. I keep clicking the X to bring up the menu, and it's not. It's um, enter. Right. You do know you got running shoes on, right? I do now. 
<laughs> Don't question me, I will walk if I want to walk. <laughs> I will walk and I will look badass while doing it. Exactly. Right. Now then... Uh... You did it again. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where you just tap the B button, so you don't yep, click A. Yep. Right, so, little known, well not little known, but I can catch another Pokemon in this grass up here, because it's a different route. Now, what will I get? Oh, now this is just unlucky. <laughs> now, do I want another Puchienia? Ah, no, let, let's just uh, beat it. Get the experience. That means that route is forever damned. It's yes, tackle. it is. I can never catch Pokemon on Route 103. Whatever will I do with the other tens and dozens of other routes in the game? Saying that, then I'll probably curse myself. I'll never get another Pokemon. <laughs> right, so quick heal up, and then I think that'll be an episode, guys. So. Ah! <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, true. I don't know why I'm laughing. That's, that, that's happened to me a lot of the time. Yes. Anyway, guys, let's call it an episode there. I will see you later. So it's bye from me. And adios, everyone. See you next time.